Well, hello there. Uh, this video will help the student of class 9 regarding the project. As most of the people have commented that they are confused. So today we'll discuss about all the three projects one by one. So let's get started. So the first project is a planning delivery route for a postman. I start with the heading that is project number one. Topic planning delivery route for a postman. Now the first sub heading will be your introduction. Uh, in this section, uh, you write this study was undertaken to get an idea of the speed, hard work, responsibility of a postman in Lower Dumaram, Kershaw. Postage is delivered to the addresses from a post office by postman. In our place, this postman generally moved by walking to save time and energy and to deliver the mails in proper place and in time. A postman plans his route. The next sub heading will be a collection of data. Now in this section what we need to uh, do is we need to call a postman and we need to ask at what time he'll reach his office uh, and at what time uh, he starts from there uh, so that he deliver all the mail in time. So uh, you know like uh, we uh, ask uh, his route then uh, after um, asking uh, all the questions uh, uh, the following uh, the data was collected so here is a sample the postman was told to come one afternoon to answer the question about his route at what time he'll reach his office and collect mail what time he start from the post office etc then uh, from his answer following route map was emerged now here is the root map, okay? After drawing the map, we'll write the conclusion. Now here is the sample. After completing this project, I realized that a very simple job of a postman actually requires a lot of hard work. He has a shoulder of lot of responsibility in order to look for a proper delivery of a mail in right place. I have also learned about time management, hard work and responsibility. So this is all about project number one. So let's start the second project. Now you'll start uh, with the topic that is uh, project two, topic running a canteen. Now introduction, a school canteen is a very well equipped. One can buy almost every kind of snacks like momos, samosas, chips, sandwiches, sweets, etc. Kuldeep Prasad has got a contract to run a canteen for one year. He is responsible to keep the canteen clean. According to the contract, he has to give rupees 20,000 to the school every month. Besides, he has to pay rupees 2,000 per month for electricity and water bills. Kuldeep has two employees. He brings all the raw material from Siliguri and items like momos and samosas, they make it here in the canteen. Monthly salary of employee uh, is uh, rupees 2000 and uh, Kuldeep has two employees so he has to pay rupees 4000 for each employee. This subheading will be a monthly cost. It is a table which comprises of five columns, okay, serial number, item, cost price, number of items, total cost. So here is the sample. So what are the items that you'll get? Uh, in your school canteen so you can write that so here is a sample okay so the total cost per day is equals to rupees 4410 rupees now the total cost per month is uh, 30 into 4410 so that is 132300 is the total cost okay now the total expenditure or uh, the total uh, cost per month for Kuldeep is uh, rupees 1,32,300 is the cost of items that he has to buy, okay, 20,000 for room rent, 2,000 for water plus electricity bill and 4,000 for employee. So the total cost for him or the total expenditure will be rupees 1,58,300. That the next subheading will be monthly sell. So here is a sample.
So the total sale per month is equal to rupees 6010. Total sale per month will be 30 into 60,010, which will be rupees 180,300. So therefore, the profit will be total sale minus total cost that is rupees 180,300 rupees minus 158,300 rupees that will be rupees 22,000. So you just imagine. Uh, the, the next subheading will be the conclusion. So here you write, the canteen plays an important role within the school environment, that of enforcing knowledge, skills and behavior about healthy eating and lifestyle which are taught in the class. The school canteen plays a vital role in promoting healthy food and creating a school cult culture of healthy eating. Third project. You start with the topic, draw a circle of radius R on 2 mm graph and then on 5 mm graph paper. Estimate the area enclosed in each case by actually counting the square. Now in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need uh, two graph, okay, of size uh, 2 mm and another one is of size 5 mm. What we need to do is we need to draw three circles on both the graph by taking the same radius one uh, one centimeter another one is of 1.5 centimeter and the third one is of two centimeter as you can see inside the circle there are boxes so now what we need to do is we count these boxes and we'll find the area of each box now each box is a square so we can easily find the area of this square and we'll multiply with how many squares are there inside the box so this way we'll find the area of a circle so here is the computation since we are using uh, the same size uh, graph paper so the calculation will be same so you can copy this one only hey guys uh, i hope this video will help you okay so this is all about today's video uh, so i'll see you in the next video so till then